Hi, right, welcome back. I think tonight's gonna be a pretty short night. I just got through work in 13 hours and it's already 12.30. So I think my main goal is just to drop this outer rocker off, see if we can get it off, and that may be it, I don't know. I do have good news and bad news on the uh, parts for the Bronco. Bad news is, I'm not gonna be able to get that whole one piece like I wanted. Just cost too much and shipping's way high on it. I think it's gonna come to about $900 just, just to get that piece there or here. And I'll need more than just that. I don't have the budget for that. So instead of getting that, I think I'm gonna get the two door pillars, the floor pans for each side, and the uh, inner fender apron pieces that have the big holes in them. I'll get the driver's side and passenger side. And uh, it's gonna get me a automatic tent welding helmet and a flange, pneumatic flange tool so we can patch holes and stuff like that. I can get all that for less than I can get that one big piece for, so I think that's a better fit for me. But anyways, let's get to it. You know, all I think I'd do is grind, <coughs> excuse me, grind this off a little bit and grind that down and see if this thing will fall off or not.
All right, with a little bit of maneuvering, I think we'll be able to take this off. All right, there you have it. it. Pretty much just fell apart. But I think here next this next week we'll uh, start sanding these down. And don't know what to do about that. Cause I'm probably gonna, like I said, cut it up here. I do need to repair all this. So yeah, I might cut this off. Try to repair this inner kick panel here that attaches to that brace. <laughs> yeah, to that brace right here. Clean that brace up. Then we'll have to take the these inner rockers off. Cause we're gonna have to use the the ones back over there that I got. That means we'll take that off. And don't have to worry about these spot wells anymore. We'll just sand it all down. Try to get underneath it best we can to get the rust, hammer it down some, try to make it look more presentable. And uh, I'm going to have to find a way to make this bend here because I got new pans, or I'm getting new pans from here up to, up to here. So I had to get these out, keeping this, there's this in bad shape. And we'll fix whatever somebody did to this. Probably just cut this big this square out here and put in a new piece of metal. And try to just fix these things. This is all wallered out and bent up for a seat bolt. Those aren't too bad. But yeah. Still a lot to do in here. And I ordered, gonna order me a new floor here. And it goes up to that. Well, you can't, can't see behind that mat, but there's a seam there. Which I'll probably grind most of this down and see how much I need. I might just cut it in the middle. I have to find a way to figure out to make a piece for this and make a piece for bad lighting, but this whole corner here is rusted out, so we're gonna make a piece for that and let me get a light. Okay, now we can see a little bit better. Anyways, I have to figure out how to make pieces for that corner there. And all this, see how it attaches to the floor. And I'm going to have to make this piece at the bottom that goes all the way out. My thinking is, I'll uh, find out where the good metal is, cut it straight across above it, measure measure how far it comes down 
to right there to the corner to measure how much this little flange comes out and had to borrow a sheet metal bender or sheet metal brake, I forgot what it's called. I make that 90 degrees. And then my new tool, hopefully that I get this weekend, I can make a little flange that goes back behind this and uh, butt weld it straight across here and hopefully that will be good enough. The only thing I'm concerned with is that piece where the tank switch is. I'm gonna have to just, I guess, drill holes in it or something. I don't know. But, but that right there got me. That right there has me the most concerned because I have no clue how to get that right. But I guess one benefit of not getting the whole floor is that I'll get to experience try to fabricate things myself. And if it looks halfway decent, I'll probably just leave it because I'm going to bedliner this whole interior all the way up the, to the back. This is going to remain painted. But yeah, if anything looks halfway decent, I'm going to try this to I say cover up and make it look better with bedliner. Anywho, that's my plan for that. If you're wondering about the Healy, there she sits. Waiting. We'll get to it one day. But I think I'm going to finish this first and ask my wife if she wanted to sell it once we got it done. And she said probably not. So it may be ours for now on. But, anyways. I'm going to order this piece right here. I don't know if I will or not since I only need need this little section. I may just try to fabricate that. I think I can do it. Maybe. Anyways, yeah, we'll try, try to fabricate that first. See if we can make it look decent. All we need is a flat piece of metal this way, thin it over, then we can cut that cut that wedge shape into it. Then on this other side, it's just a flat piece of metal bent over. I don't know how to make a square, but I guess we can try anything. So that shouldn't be too terrible. And this side, the same way. Let's Cut it out, it's a square, bent over, kind of a wedge. And this is just a metal bent over with the square in it. But anyways, we'll probably come out and see what the rust is and get all that. I'm gonna save this piece so I can know exactly how how to make that because I think it's helps with the fender line and alignment but yeah I don't think I necessarily need this this whole piece since that's the only bad part on them so I might take that off and get me something else anyways thanks for watching and I'm sorry it's kind of a shorter video didn't really do much but other than Take that outer rocker off and look at all my trouble spots. Anyways, uh, thank you to my new subscribers. And I guess I'll see you on the next. Next time, I'll probably do some sanding like we did on the other side and maybe primer a little bit if, if we get that far. But I'm just going to take everything down to metal first and see what we got. So I guess I'll see you on the next.